Hey guys, how's it going? Look, I just came out of the cinema to watch Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and I just thought, very briefly, it won't it won't take long, I just wanted to get my points across. My my opinions, my reviews, now it's a fucking really, really weird one, this. It starts off really strong, the first half an hour is really quite exciting. Now, I will keep this to minimum spoilers, but I, I'm going to have to, you know, the trailers are out, so I won't say anything that's not really involved in there, but going into this, I had no idea what the film was about, I have to admit, and uh, leaving it, I still... Still don't really know what it's about obviously it's about something called the dial of destiny which uh, in the right hands or the wrong hands depending which side of the fence you're on if you're a Nazi or you're not uh, can actually uh, take you in time somewhere and the film's about time travel which I find kind of mind-boggling this is the final Indiana Jones film that we were aware of I think the only reason Harrison Ford did it was for a boatload of cash I think he said something quite funny about it but it makes you wonder it makes you wonder what sort of was the idea about this this film now in terms of the negatives i'm gonna get that out out the way i think so the cgi looks good but the de-aging stuff is just it's a bit weird i'll be honest it looks good when they're not speaking and then when someone starts speaking like the whole face turns it looks like a video game that's the best way i can describe it you know like in uh, an older video game like a mass effect or something you start speaking and the characters just sort of like their head moves just in a generic way just to act like they're not st stationary dead creatures now you know de-aging it still looks good but it still looks a bit weird uh, and it does take me out of it, I think. I, I don't understand why we keep doing it, but look it is what it is now I have to admit some of the cast were really good Harrison Ford is incredible as always Mads Mikkelsen is the most Nazi person ever it's brilliant he was born to play a Nazi in the most respectful way possible he, he's really good in it he, you get this idea that he, he's all brains and no brawn he's clever he could you know he sent people to space that's sort of how the film starts it's set in the, well, in the 60s, I think they went to space in 69, did they, or something like that? I don't remember. But this lady here, I, I can only apologise to her because, my God, she is bad. She is bad. I mean, not only her acting, but her word, you know, the writing is just horrendous. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, good Lord, I, you know, hate to be rude, but she was so bad. She was the worst part of the film, and I kind of think their idea of this whole film was, we'll put Indiana Jones to bed, we'll tie him up, and we'll, we'll set up this grand adventure with a lady who is the god's daughter of Har Indiana Jones. Now, okay, whatever, bring her in, but she's so bad. There's so many time she makes horrendous comments i can't really remember him but and she's also like that annoying british person now i come from the land of england i can promise you no one speaks like this apart from a fair few and they're all in a concentrated area down south all right and the ones who do they get laughed at so it's a bit it's a bit cringy when you see it and maybe it's because i'm english i don't find it funny but the only thing she was missing was the goofy teeth seriously her, she comes out with oh crikey oh crikey oh crikey like Fucking shut up, mate. None of us speak like that. Well, that's a lie. Some of us speak like that, but honestly, I'm, I don't want to be mean because I'm sure she's good in other things. I can't comment. I've not seen her in anything, except I've seen that. Who is she in that? I mean, she can't have been a very uh, important position. I can't see her there, so she's clearly not of any importance. Is she in this? And maybe I'm just blind, but, you know, she's not playing a major lead, so, look, maybe she's good in this flea bag. I mean, it's got good reviews, so maybe maybe she is, and she probably is, and congrats to her. But, don't get me wrong, her acting is not the worst part. She, you know, she does do a, an ad, admiral job with what she's given, I guess, but, honestly, it's the worst written character, and the performance doesn't make it stand out. It's really, really, really hard to watch. I was with my friend, and we both looked at it each other he, he said to me this woman is the most is the worst part of this film probably any film he's seen for a long time and i was literally thinking that five minutes before he said it it, it, it just wasn't good at all so unfortunately phoebe waller does not i hope they don't give her any films because i will not be fucking seeing them but yeah that that's that's poor like i said harrison's brilliant he's so good uh, I mean, to say he's, how old is he? Harrison Ford, 80 years old. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think. And one positive about this film, it's really made me want to see the old ones again. So I am actually going to uh, watch the original three. And if I'm feeling, um, if, I, if I want a bit of a laugh, shall we say, I will join the uh, the other one, the fourth one. So the, yeah, he's playing bloody um, that guy who died. Red Hulk, I can't remember his name right now. But he's playing him. So that should be good, Harrison Ford. Love him. He's one of my favourite actors. Not because we're called the same name, but it probably contributes, but he's brilliant. 
brilliant. Yeah, the film wasn't very funny. I have to admit, this is probably my biggest complaint. I think I laughed once. Now, this isn't a spoiler, but at one point in the film, they're on a train, okay? And there's quite a lot of BS in it. Uh, so the only time I laughed is when the Indiana Jones and his m little friend is getting chased. And he climbed, this guy climbs up the ladder and he's speaking to him. He's like, give me the dial. <laughs> I am German Nazi. Verein, Verein, mein Führer. And uh, eventually uh, he gets hit uh, with a uh, thing on the side of the track that sticks out conveniently to knock people off. Um, and that was the only time I laughed. That's in the first 20 minutes. It was funny because it was unexpected. But unfortunately, uh, that's, the, that's the only time I actually laughed. There's, there's attempted humour. It's not brilliant, I have to admit. I, I, uh, I never really uh, laughed too hard at that sort of stuff. It, I, I didn't find it funny. I think whoever wrote this film clearly is not uh, into comedy. And uh, a lot of cringy one-liners and uh, poor, poor execution of the one-liners. And sometimes it was hard to even hear what they said because the music was so loud. I was like, what the hell did they say? And I'm not deaf, but yeah, there are some good scenes. There's a scene when they're on a tuk-tuk and they're driving. That was cool to watch. But, you know, there's a, uh, again, when they're on the trains, Indiana Jones is being held up against a wall. Uh, you know, a train going at train speed, whatever that might be. He's lifted into the wall for about five seconds and you can see him crumble it, like the, the brick wall behind him as he's on the train full speed, crumbling, bash him in the back. And uh, he's fine. He's completely fine. I mean, that, that to me is just insane. I, I'm all for a bit, you know, they, they end up doing time travel shit and some weird stuff, but you'd think you'd at least, you'd at least make it slightly realistic in terms of, I just thought it was lazy, the fact that they couldn't really think of any other ways to make it entertaining. I'd just like to touch on the ending as well. The ending I actually quite enjoyed. I think it goes, um, the word is batshit crazy at the very end. I'm not going to spoil it, obviously, but it was actually quite interesting to see. Um, it, but it, yeah, it ended in a, a, a satisfactory way where I thought, you know what? That's fine. I think they had an option to do something really cool. And again, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm kind of confused. And then the girl saves him, inverted commas, I think. Obviously, why would you do that? That's my my other complaint is I think the first way, how we all thought it might end with Indiana Jones, it should have. But look, that's, that's, the, that's the films for you. I think this has done a lot in terms of, I think I'm really looking forward to the game now, actually. Indiana Jones games coming out, that's got my full attention. I'm very on board with that. I think this reminded me how um, good Indiana Jones as a character is, and I, I look forward to re-watching the films very, very shortly. But look, I, I just wanted to give my first impressions on this again. If I was going to rate it, I'd probably get a, a 5 or 6 out of 10. I wouldn't watch it again and i'm glad uh, oh that's another thing it went on for far too long it's about two and a half hours two and a half hours of you know what could easily have been two blew my mind i was literally i looked at my phone like crikey an hour and a half and we're not even sure where we're going with this yet that's my biggest complaint the lady's not great comedy and it's far too long far too long but look i'm gonna leave it there really appreciate all your support we recently uh you know we get views you were up and it's, it's really really encouraging to see so thank you so much take care and we will see See you in the next one. Let me know your thoughts on it as well. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Cheers.